OK, I'm going to show you how to format a hard drive. I'm using Mac OS X and it's Lion. It's version 10.7.4 if anyone is interested. And I am going to format it so that it will work with both Windows and a Mac because you might be using an external hard drive on both. And if you have it set so that it's in certain formats, such as Mac formats, Windows 7 can read the information on it, but it can't save things to it, so it can't write information. So good thing to do is to format it in a particular format that allows you to use it on both. Now the other thing you can do is you might have a Mac with particularly large files on it, such as video files like I have to, and for that the Mac works better reading those files and also I use the Mac exclusively for editing as well. So what I can do is I can separate the drive into what's known as two separate partitions. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the other thing that formatting is useful as well is for erasing a whole hard drive. So if you want to clear all the data off of it, I must warn you that if you do format anything, it's going to erase everything on this hard drive. So you have been warned. Make sure if you do want to keep any of this data that you back it up. So I'm going to show you how to do this. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm in the finder. I'm going to go into File and choose New Finder Window. And I'm going to go to my Applications and scroll to the bottom where it says Utilities. And here you'll see one that says Disk Utility. I'm just going to double click on that. It gets the information about your hard drives. This one up here is my internal one. I'm not going to do anything to that. I'm going to click on this one here. It's my external hard drive. And you'll see there's an option here to Partition. So I'm going to click on that. This is the current partition that it's got. I'm just going to click up here. Now if I wanted to make it one big hard drive, I can choose just one partition. And I'm just going to choose XFAT. That is the one that will allow me to use it on Windows and Mac, read and write, save files and open them. So that's the one that I'm going to choose. And I can give it a name here as well. So I might just call it Windows. If you're using older versions, it won't say XFAT there, it will say MS-DOS and FAT afterwards, F-A-T in capital letters and in, and in brackets as well. So I choose that. It's showing me here that it's going to be two terabytes. But what if I want two partitions so that one partition works on both and the other one works on the Mac even though the files can be read on it? I would choose two partitions here. You see they're both untitled. I can click on that one there. I'm going to make that one the Mac, and I'm going to leave it on Mac OS X Extended Journals. There's the size. We're going to sort that out in a minute. I'm going to click on this one at the bottom here. I'm going to change that one to say Windows. You can tell it to say something else if you like. And I'm going to choose XFAT, and as I said on older versions, MS-DOS FAT. So what I'm going to do is back here on the Mac bit at the top here, I'm just going to click on Options. I'm just going to make sure that it's set to this GUID partition table, OK, because that's using it on an Intel-based Mac, which this is, and I would click on OK. Now, the size of these I can adjust by just simply putting the mouse between them here and clicking and dragging, or I could have typed in, say, 1.5 here, which will make that top section 1.5 terabytes, click down the bottom here, and that one is roughly 500. So that's my Windows bit, that's my Mac bit. All I have to do now is click on Apply. I'm not going to do it because it's going to erase all the data on there. It shouldn't take too long to format them. Once you click on Apply, you'll see a progress bar coming up. It'll whiz along and it shouldn't take too long at all. So now you know how to format it and partition it using Mac OS X Lion. And also the same applies for Leopard and Snow Leopard too.